get your ultrasound machine and follow along with me. I'm going to go through a step-by-step -step approach of how to scan the medial elbow using one position, including all dynamic tests. Okay, so the left side of the screen is the proximal side. You can see I've got the patient with the elbow at 90 degrees. This works well with the patient at no, el elbow 90 degrees. And if you're scanning the right elbow, have the patient lying on their right side with their shoulder abducted to 90 degrees. This is a really nice position to use. So as you can see here, we've got the medial epicondyl. We can already see some of that common flexor tendon coming off the um, bone there. And this is with pointing this end of the probe towards the thumb. So that will highlight the tendon. If we just fishtail the um, distal end of the probe towards the little finger, then what you can see quite nicely here is your ulnar collateral ligament coming over here. Now we can, this is why I like this position because we can do a valgus stress test. So we're just using the side of the plinth as a pivot point to get that valgus. So if, this is the joint here. So this is the humeral old joint. And you can see that space between the joint there. Now, if we get a nice picture of that ulnar collateral ligament, and there's the joint. So keep an eye on this as I do the valgus stress. And as I do the valgus stress on this case, can you see there's very little, if any, opening up of the joint, which means that it's intact. Now, if it is disrupted, then you may get more laxity and you can measure it before and after. So just to recap, this is the ulnar collateral ligament. This is the joint. And when you do the valgus stress, you're just seeing if that opens up at all. And you can see in this case, it stays nice and nice and stable. Now, you can also use this position for old, looking at your ulnar nerve. So this side here is the medial epicondyle. So we've got the medial epicondyle over here and you can see the ulnar nerve uh, nicely. Now think of this as a mountain and when you're doing your looking for any subluxation of the ulnar nerve then just go from full extension but you must keep that mountain up. So you can see we're going into extension and it's sitting nicely behind the um, uh, mountain there and then as you go into elbow flexion it will ride up. Can you see that? So it's starting to ride up the mountain but what you're looking for is whether or not it goes over the mountain. You also want to know whether it goes over the mountain and then subluxes back, or does it actually dislocate over the other side of the mountain? Make sure you do go into full flexion. If you lose the medial epicondyle, like I'm doing a little bit there, you just need to fishtail the distal end of the probe to keep it there. And I would advise going into full flexion because you can see there it's getting to the top of the mountain, but it's not going over it. So this is normal. And just remember, if you do see it going over the mountain, you do see that in asymptomatics. It doesn't always mean it's a problem. Did you find that video useful? If you did, don't worry. We've got loads more videos for you. You can like our videos. You can make a comment. You can subscribe to our channel to get all of our new videos. And you can even join our membership. Good luck scanning.